Hey guys and welcome to this video in which I wanted to cover the Israeli elections and the coming peace deal. Uh, I haven't set up the green screen behind me because I'm off to Israel tomorrow so um, that's packed away and I just wanted to discuss obviously we know that uh, Benjamin Netanyahu has won the Israeli election and uh, some of the things that he said during the campaign very recently um, are in direct opposition and contradiction to this peace deal of the century. Obviously, we know that um, the West Bank, Judea and Samaria are, um, are, the, um, are the subject of the, um, of the peace deal and uh, the recognition of a Palestinian state. Uh, in Israel for those people uh, who claim to be Palestinians and part of that uh, part of the deal which has come out recently is that uh, those who are claiming refugee status in the surrounding areas like uh, Jordan and um, and Lebanon will will no longer have refugee status but they will be uh, they will be recognized as citizens of that country so what that does is it removes um, quite a large portion of the population away from the claiming of a Palestinian state. So um, there are about 2 million Jordanians and I think there's about uh, 800,000 um, Palestinian refugees who, who claim to be Palestinians but that are not in the, the, um, in the West Bank or Gaza. So the peace deal will take care of that element and those um, and, and this is by agreement of the leaders of the country so this is King Abdullah and uh, also Saudi Arabia are involved and um, the, the the heads of these nations Sisi of Egypt and um, and, and Lebanon as well have, have agreed to, to take these refugee status Palestinians on as citizens and this is because America have offered them huge um, incentives as far as contractual um, agreements, uh, billions, tens of billions of dollars in um, in uh, grants and in, uh, in in industry projects and these kinds of things. So, so those people who reside outside of what is considered the uh, the borders of Israel and the West Bank will no longer have Palestinian refugee status. So, what that means is that the ones only the ones that are in within the West Bank and and Gaza the Palestinians that actually reside in what we consider as Israel will be considered Palestinians the other ones will get citizen citizenship status in the countries in which they reside and this is all with a view to the demographics of um, of Israel and the the birth rate essentially of the um, the Muslim population within Israel and also of course the birth rate Obviously, they, 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 they wouldn't stand a chance if all of those refugees were, were given Palestinian status with a right to return. So, so the, the idea of this right to return is going to be removed from the so-called Palestinian refugees who don't reside in Israel. So the right of return is going to be, is, is, is going to be ended because they are going to be given citizenship status in those countries. But the ones who do reside in Israel, the, the, the Muslims, and the so-called Palestinians who do reside in Israel are going to be given their own state, and and this is this is because the if they do this, then the dem, then the demographics do not uh, weigh in the favor of the Palestinians because uh, the the Jewish birth rate and the Palestinian birth rate within the within the confines of what we currently consider Israel are are manageable, but but obviously. The, if you include the refugees which are outside of Israel, then then that just doesn't work. So so the 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 notion that they that Jordan and Egypt and Lebanon are going to recognise these Palestinians um, as their their own citizens is 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 directly related to the recognition of a Palestinian state being recognised in Israel because that will then balance out the demographics between the Jewish birth rate and and the Islamic birth rate. Okay, so here we can see um, Benjamin Netanyahu said on his um, on his campaign trail very recently that he would annex the West Bank. Now, of course, this goes against everything that I've just said. Everything that I have just told you with the peace deal of the century 
and what the plan is for that. This goes against that completely. This is the this is the total opposite to the peace deal of the century, and this is essentially what Netanyahu has said. So, so it looks like there is a colliding of interests here. Um, it looks like there is a, there, there seems to be a, a polar opposite to what Netanyahu has said right now on his campaign trail, and what is in the peace deal of the century. And of course, this is this article addresses that. It says as as Netanyahu wins election, eyes on Trump to respond. To his annexation gambit so so that is because what bb has said is in total contradiction to what the peace deal of the century is so so we're coming to this time when when um the the uh the 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 two sides of this um of this viewpoint of the palestinian states recognizing recognizing a palestinian state not dividing jerusalem obviously that's what Benjamin Netanyahu said, but it's coming now to a point where this is gonna, this is going to the, the train smash is coming. The train smash is coming. It can't be one. It can't be both. It has to be one or the other. So we can see here John Bolton uh, has said that a day after the Knesset election, uh, U.S. National Security Advisor John Bolton has told ABC that I think Trump's peace plan will be published in the very near future. Okay. And uh, down at the bottom here, it says the hints that the plan could be published before, that's before. So what Netanyahu has to do is he has to form a coalition, uh, which he has 30 days to form that coalition. That, and and uh, the, the suggestion is that the peace plan would be released before the, the coalition is established. And it says here, before the Israeli government is established, centered around a reported hope in Washington that the publication in the midst of the government forming process would result in Netanyahu choosing a government coalition partners who would accept the plan. So the idea is that they release the peace plan now before the government is formed so that Netanyahu can choose a government which will push this through. And of course, if this is about the dividing of the land of Israel, I don't think it's going to get to that. But 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 the, the imminency of the release um, of the peace deal is is with that view in mind that it's done before the government is formed before the coalition is formed so that netanyahu can choose a coalition um based on uh one that's going to push the peace deal of the century through and remember now it's payback time right so we've had the the moving of the, the uh, embassy to jerusalem we've had the um the uh cancelling of the iran nuclear deal uh, israel have had the golan heights recognized and uh, Iran's military just recently has been uh, deemed a terrorist organization. So Israel have been given everything that they have, everything that they could possibly want and ask for. And now the payback time is coming. Donald Trump said that the Palestinians would get something, and Israel would also have to make some concessions. So, so that is, you know, that is that is right on. Th th this is just about to happen. Okay. So Bennett said. Uh, when he said, "Let my people know the details," this was was uh, this was on February the twenty seventh. So um, this was just about a month ago, just over a month ago. He wanted to know what the peace deal, uh, what the plans of the peace deal were, and he said that um, that Donald Trump and Benjamin Netanyahu. He said the two agreed to present a plan. To establish a Palestinian state on 90% of the area of the West Bank, including the division of Jerusalem, a day or two after the election. Okay, that's 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 just taken place. So as not to make things difficult for Netanyahu, this was what Bennett said over a month ago. So we are looking at that peace deal being released imminently. And of course, if you watch the other videos and you know that the um, the the thing that we're we're watching is on the 13th of April. 1949 was the blood moon the first blood moon which happened on passover the first passover that israel came back was april the 13th 1949 and there was a blood moon on that passover and that was the blood moon tetra so all eyes are are on this peace deal coming as bennett said within a couple of days and as bolton uh, as this article uh, with bolton suggests that they're going to do it before the uh, establishment of the coalition government so that the uh, the elements which are chosen within that government will push this plan through and of course when they shall say peace and safety you know 
who knows, maybe we won't even see that government being formed. Okay, so Trump says Netanyahu's election victory is a good sign for peace. Uh, okay, so this is, uh, this is an article which came out today. And uh, this, is, this is them saying peace and safety. This, this, deal is, this deal is about to come, guys. This deal is about to come. So um, I'm excited. Um, I will be, uh, I'll be in Israel tomorrow. And I'm hoping that, um, that it is as we see it. And that our King of Kings is coming. Woohoo!